Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Tableau um, forensic SATA and IDE bridge uh, to a SATA hard drive into a computer so you can use something like FTK Imager Lite uh, to make a forensic EO1 image of that hard drive. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take everything out of your bag. Um, you got your power cable, you have your USB 3.0 cable, you have your SATA power, and your uh, SATA um, data connector for your hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and power our Tableau. Putting our power here. You can see we already got it shows DC power on. Um, once we get that, we can go ahead and connect our SATA power and then our SATA data cable. And then you're going to want to connect those obviously to your device. And then you're going to connect your USB cable. Once you have all those plugged in, then you can go ahead and take that USB 3.0 cable and plug it right into your computer, which I have a little dock in here. And then once you have all that plugged in, you can go ahead and hit our power button on. And then you can see it begins to boot up. And you can begin to hear the hard drive uh, spin up on power as well. And you can see our write block is on. That is very important to um, see that, because um, that means anything at all, the computer can never write to that hard drive. So once you see the power light is on, SATA detected, because we're not using an IDE, this is actually compatible with an IDE cable. So if you need an older hard drive, it does have the Molux uh, power cord and an IDE uh, cable. Hopefully you don't have to image those. Those do take a long time than uh, your typical SATA hard drive. Even those take a long time as well. Um, but IDE is even longer. Um, so once you get all that connected, you got all green lights, um, then we're going to go to our computer here and then we can see uh, the device show up in uh, right block mode.